Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be talking about my empties. You guys know I haven't been buying a whole lot, so I haven't been using a whole lot because I haven't needed to replenish anything really other than my own fun um, and, you know, a little math challenge, but that's pretty much all I've been doing. And so my empties are going to be one to call for my project pans because I haven't really been going above and beyond or doing anything different or new or Anything like that. But I feel like that's just the theme for this year. And I'm okay for that theme for this year. <laughs> Sometimes it gets aggravating, but other times I'm like, no, this is great. Are you kidding me? I'm a first time mom. Baby just turned one. That is exactly what I should be doing. Uh, it was actually funny the other day. Someone was like, oh, what did you do before you came and stayed home? Mom, I was like, oh, I was a manager at Ulta. And they were like, I've never seen you wear makeup. I go, yeah, that's like a new development. <laughs> I used to wear makeup all the time. And then I stopped. <laughs> like basically, like the week before Claire was born, I remember my last day was Saturday at work. She was, my water broke on Wednesday. I had her on Friday and it was like that week. Like I did not wear makeup and I haven't really worn makeup since except for a couple special events, photographs, yeah, basically photo shoots and then like a couple <laughs> formal events. But that's it. So I've worn makeup all of like maybe we'll say 10 times in a year. So. I don't, you know, I'm not using makeup, but I am using lip products, as you guys know. Um, and I shouldn't have put one on now. Lips and blush have always been my favorite. They are still my favorite. <laughs> so I've got, I feel like I'm now complete with my lip products on. So let me show you my empties. I'm going to start with my makeup empty because I actually have one. And that is a lip product, the Bare Minerals XOX in the shade Mantra. This is in my lip use it up this year. It is just a little mini size and it is gone. This, I kind of was like loving in and out. Um, the color is really pretty. It's like that mauve neutral shade. It just wasn't enough hydration for me. Uh, and it is like a demi matte. Again, that's fine. That's what it was designed to do, but just wasn't what I'm looking for right now. I am looking more for like that shine product that's like really popular right now. I don't want it a doe foot. I don't want to have to like deal with a doe foot all the time. I want to put it in a stick form and just apply it and then be good to go, you know? Um, and then I have my fragrance. Nantucket Rose Oil is gone. Surprise! Um, this is empty. It looks like there's a little some in there, but I couldn't actually get it out. I think that that's just reality of this one, but I'm really excited. This is empty. This is by a brand called Nantucket Oils. You can only get it on the island at least when I bought this in high school. <laughs> I don't even know if they still have it anymore. They used, they had it for like 10 years, but I'm not sure if it exists anymore and that's okay. Uh, but I really like that one. That's an Nantucket Rose scent. It's like beach roses. And that was like, ugh, like that one. I'm kind of sad to see that one go. But I do have two other fragrances from that company that I need to work through next. Um, and they say oh, these little vials are going to last a year. So, you know, at least when I bought it. Um, skincare. I've got two skincare empties. One is the Clarins Cairo Flash Cream Mask. This one right here, um, but only 0.2 in here. This one I actually enjoy using. I didn't use it as a mask. I used it as a moisturizer. I applied it all over, including my decolletage. Um, and it's supposed to be like firming. I, I never know if things are firming, but I would say it was cooling and it felt really nice, especially if you put it on and into a fan and just fanned yourself. It felt really good on these hot August days. So I like this one. I won't go to my room to purchase it, but Clarence knows what they're doing. And I think they did a good job with that one. <laughs> and then I got the Skin Iceland Glacial Face Wash with White Willow Bark. This was a cream um, based wash. It's not, it's not my favorite favorite. I, I don't really love cream washes and I thought it would, I think it did fine. It was a moisturizing wash, which you think I would really like, but I think I like face washes that really pull things deep. Like I had during my monthly, I had a breakout on my chin and I was using that. I'm like, man, if that was doing a good job, it should have not broken out. Right. And now I realize it's hormonal and I realize that like it's summer. So I'm sweating. Um, but I feel like a good face wash would have fixed that. So, and that one didn't really fix it. It just kind of ran its course. I put an acne patch on and that kind of took it down. So I think if you're looking for like a face wash that's hydrating, it's fine. It's just not my jam. It did foam nicely, just personal preference. And then for hair, I have some empties. My Lola V shampoo and conditioner are empty. Yay! Super excited about this one. Um, those 
should have been gone a long time ago, <laughs> but they are now empty and I actually did like them. Uh, they did fine with my hair, my fine thin hair. I thought they did great with, and you know, I do highlight my hair and I thought I did great with that, but I just don't know if I need to go out of my way to like go for that brand. I didn't love it enough. There wasn't enough to like draw me in. I would still prefer to buy the way, which I think sounds crazy because the little is a little bit like, you know, quote, healthy for your hair, but I just feel like the way does a great job. And speaking of way, the detox shampoo, I love this stuff. At first I thought it was overhyped. No, I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. Um, it is the apple cider vinegar, beautifulness. It pulls all that dry shampoo out of my hair, but it doesn't dry it out when I follow it up with a good hydrating like oil in there. Not the way oil, that one's too heavy, but you know, another oil, I, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> what I needed when I had this one. And it goes 50% off all the time at Ulta. I feel like that's like the 21 Days of Beauty, which is upcoming. Did you guys see? I wish I knew what day it was launching. Let me look it up real fast. Oh my God, you guys, it starts in two days. It is the 28th today. It starts on 30th, it starts on Friday. Get your engine ready. There are some things on there that I'm gonna check out. Some things on there that I'm, not, I'm like looking at it right now. Ooh. What? Huh. Oh, I see here. Uh, I'm so excited. I probably am going to be doing a few things. If there's something I really, really want, um, because their sale is central time, I probably will purchase early in the morning and just buy online pickup in store. Um, that's really a good idea. And then, and or if um, I want to, I might also wait a few days. I don't know. I'm trying to think, because if I have $50 to spend, right? Uh, for September, there are a couple things I've got my mind on. If you want to see a video about it, let me know. I might do a video probably on the 31st on Saturday. If you guys are interested, I'm going to keep my eyes open to see what I'm going to be purchasing. I'm going to see if I can keep it under 50. I'm pretty sure I can just because I know myself right now and I feel like I don't need to spend it, but you guys know they're always good deals. Always good news. And little things you're like, ooh, that looks interesting. Ooh, that looks interesting. Ooh, that looks interesting. It's just figuring out what you actually need. So that's my empties. This is my total empties for the month of August. I need it to be more than 50 since my goal is to spend 50. Uh, but I'm already crushing it this year. I'm not super worried about it. This is my total <laughs> empties for the year of 2024 up until the end of August. And uh yeah, I'm crushing it. It's over $700 already. <laughs> Should I get over it? Month. I won't know until I do this math, but I hope I did. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy panning, and I will see you in my next video, which may be all the 21 days of beauty. <sighs> Bye.